All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let us have some fun. Drink and be merry. Toka. Who's that? Hey, come here. Have you ever seen something like this? I don't know. What is it? What is this? Racing against pigs. <laughs> yes. What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? We have done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? Sure. There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Explain the race to me. Run along the lead pathway as fast as that old swine, Hermod. The first to do two laps wins. Okay. Where do I start? <laughs> Good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Oh, Ready? okay. Sounds good. Well, I'm already ahead of the pig. Alright, so just follow the lanterns. That makes sense. That makes sense. Move, goddammit! You are fast, Eivor! I know! I will catch up soon enough! Sure you will. Try it! This, oh god, how'd I get tripped up on a fucking chicken? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Stay ahead of her! Alright, I'm pulling away, I'm pulling away, I'm pulling away! There we go! Another victory for my saga. Seems your legs were blessed. No matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes, though one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. Listen to my words, Toka. Long after the bodies are buried and the house is rebuilt, the Franks will remember this day. All we have is an uneasy truce with Charles. And glory worthy of our ancestors. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword with the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was glad you did not turn over Bernard. I miss Sinric, but a father like Charles is worse than no father at all. I could not doom the boy. It's not a price I think my clan would have me pay for their safety. Yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, couldn't do that. Charles would be a terrible father. Even though he clearly cares about him, to a degree. Just be terrible. Yeah! Ah, Evo! Cheese throwing. The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? Yeah, why not? How do I play? How do I win this game? You need to throw at least two blocks of cheese past the green banner. Quite simple. Oh, and you have three tries to get it done. Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. Just try not to hit anyone. It sounds easy. Yeah, 
Hey, you gave it to her with it. Oh, wow. I guess it's not that easy. Oh, guess I won. That was kind of, that's kind of a weird game. Good throw, Evor. Never underestimate the cheese. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned the prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There is much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell, what else should I know? Worry not about what I might teach. Right. Plenty to celebrate about this night. Don't let me spoil your fun. Go on. Alright, what else is there? Return to Siegfried? Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. We'll see. What? That was weird. It was like there was an invisible wall or something. How's he doing? Has he gone mad as well? <laughs> Just hopped in his lap. Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo, as Charles's army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I have done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. There need not be blood for us to celebrate. We find countless reasons to feast. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons. And we are no different than wolves. Driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be, but for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No, I do not believe there is a hole waiting for us. This world is a hole. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. Our word? You are the one who failed to return his son Bernard. Have you forgotten? That was different. Charles would have... Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy, and after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. Oh shit. I need to go after him. Oh shit. Feed me. Be my eyes. 
If he wanted to conquer, he should have built an army to do so. But you came here to raid and gain glory. And now that you have it, we should at least cl claim the lands we have taken and leave. about this land, my friend. Siegfried? We must speak! Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a cross starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinrich or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge. It has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds. Look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself! Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood, the blood of more Franks, will be no solve for your grief. It's as if you speak with Sinric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. To live. My time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... find a new way. going away then I am going with him no Toka your clan needs you well Jesus at least we could solve that peacefully but what what's gonna happen now He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. 
We had courage. Daring. And this fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt. I'm unabound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. Shit, okay. Well, at least we have a new, uh, objective. Oh, right here, actually. I'm glad I went there ahead of time. Right, here we are. Avar of England. You sent for me. Said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Okay. Lead on. Look at these workers, working happily, working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. The quality of the wine is their due. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. So you want him dead? Uh, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as Merci, always. Monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eva. And I will carry the scars to Ramahi. Very well. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Sinrik's daughter now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a mail shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Rishadis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Evar, a northern invader. Than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. Bernard. A part of me wanted to hand him over to Charles. What grace you possess prevented you from condemning the boy to a hell in this world. He is better off with Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens. Guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. <sighs> I will find Richardus. I am duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... she is my friend. There is one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. 
And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. You are an honorable man, Count Odo. If I have a chance to kill Charles, I will. And in so doing, you will have sealed an alliance between the people of your clan and all the peoples of Francia. First, I must seek out Richardus in Amiens. Then go, Eva the Wise. My prayers will ask the Lord to guide that blade of yours. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. Well, okay. We've just got some favorable, uh, circumstances already. Let's see. Are we headed up here? Thankfully, we have all these places just straight up uh, unlocked for fast travel. Okay. What do you see? Right in the center of that. But he said his men haven't reported in in quite a while. So they're either dead or in trouble. <gasps> oh. oh shit, okay. Dead might be likely. It was a massacre. Mon Dieu. Bodies scattered like children's toys. They say it was a demon. Some say the queen, she... These men must have been the queen's guard. Jesus. Tavern keep. What happened here? Hide. I am not sure it has gone. The monster. So much blood. Just Better hide. look around myself. The monster? What do they find? Okay, so everything's through here. I gotta go around. Jesus Christ. This is how the Queen escaped. Or the way her enemies got to More of Odo's men. They failed to safeguard the Queen. A monk. What was he doing here? A scroll. It has an odd marking. Could have been a part of Bernard's studies. Perhaps so. Man, the tavern keep may know something about this scroll and its markings. Let's hope so. He sounds like a blubbering mess right now. Orders from the Count. Is there anything else in here? No. <laughs> Soldiers walking around outside. There is a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh, yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the queen there. Okay, was she here with them? We'll see. King Shao 
a great victory over the hidden chieftain they call Siegfried. He didn't win. Boy, I know it. The bastard princeling is around here somewhere. Bernard is here. I must be careful now. You don't hear? Yes, I can. Let's try to get up to the roof. I don't care if she's a witch or diable. Nobody should be burned alive. Oh my god. He intends to burn her alive? Here's the boy. Hello, son. Evo! Thank goodness it's you! What happened? The monster took us to Father's villa. But Richard Beast distracted him, and I snuck through the construction along the wall. There is a tower there. And if you climb and climb, you can go right over! Where is Richardus? Where is the queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to father for something. A test! I was- What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house in Lisseux. I will see to Richardis. I can help. I know... things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... Uh, he gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. It will be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up to it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo. He's a brave little kid. All right, now we just get out of here. Seriously? <gasps> All right, so I need here. your eyes, my friend. Western walls are under repair. Go, soon. Okay, so we go to this tower.
My feet ache. The renovations better be worth all these double shifts. They won't be. He said they won't be. Where's the tower? I didn't do well sneaking in, but <laughs> at least we're here. He's gonna do it out in the courtyard. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Maybe we can free her from here. infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness. We will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king and before God, it's time I send this diable. Back to hell where it belongs! Life! Stand aside, Bishop! Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! Ah, oh, shit. Out of my way, Bishop! I will kill you again! The Lord scared me! I am his wrath! Thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. There we go! The fire moving so slowly! 
He just said, why is the fire moving so slow? It's fire. It moves at its own pace. I think you want the pain. You like it. I want it. You to hell. Yay! So I walk to the valley of the shadows of death. I fear no evil. For thou art with me. Shit! Oh, that's good, that's good. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's hope we can rescue her in time. I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lisse. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flush of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Count Odo would have me kill Charles, so that he may take the throne. Would you kill a man for the crime of losing the battle for his soul? Not a moment ago he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Charles has dishonored all of his allies and his people. I will not swear an oath to spare him. This is folly, Evor. Killing Charles will not assure the safety of your people. If not, let it avenge all the Norse he has felt here in Francia. Fire. 
Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. This is madness. No, he's lost it. He's gone insane. He needs to die. Slaughters his own servants. Madness. Two keyholes. We should look around. Okay. I can't kick open the door. I always knew it. She is pure. Save me, oh mother of mine! Spare my life, please! A key. Could work on the door in the main hall. Right. There seems to be a key upstairs. When they cheated and attacked, who was there for you? <laughs> I know, Tim. I see it clearly now. I should never have doubted you. I can't see a damn thing. Is this key? Oh. Did I grab it? And now we smell the stones. Against the stones, I know. Him. I am not the king. Oh, Jesus Christ. Another key. I should. Oh, you. Another key. I should try these on the main hall door. Strain. Let's see what this is. shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <sighs> but I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below this scarred flesh, you were still there. You are still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. We are the demon. We are... Uh... I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers. Ah! A Christian holy book. 
no key inside. Least of all, I'm not an heathen! Oh, jeez. Fool. I am not mortal, but you die! It burns! Not the fire! You killed the Mr. Guzla, you diablo! I killed him before. Maybe he will rise from the dead again. Oh my god! Hell is coming! He seems to resist my attacks. No, 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 no! Die, Diablo! <laughs> Oh shit. Yo, with Dodo, who will rule this kingdom when you are dead? I will crush these bits in an iron press for this! You will bleed! Come here. Come here. Push him towards the fire. No, not fire. Stunned him, but too far from the braziers. Big boy. I need him closer to the fire. He's burning me. I need him closer to the fire. No, 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 come on. Like he won't. It's like I can't get him no. there. We will devour you. And this doesn't pull him closer. Hold on. Will 
Speed! Hold on, I have an idea. I've got an idea. Come here, big boy. done to you. It did not have to be this way. His death is payment for the many he has killed, and a mercy for those he was yet to. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. What you have done was driven by selfishness and anger, not mercy. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors, I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. Well, Jesus Christ. All right, that was insane. But but he had to go. He had to go. All right, that's where we're going. But we'll see what comes of it. Victory is ours. The crowd. Something is happening. What happened? Just know, Charles will never honor a bond with you, Northern else. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How? Dare you! Wait! Eva! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richard is? Did you encounter Charles? Richard is yet lives. Charles does not. And when Francia's nobles back me to be their next king, you can count on a pack of friendship between us. Eva, the wise. That makes today a day for our celebration! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any Northerner I have met. Here's hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is 
Is it wise to put our trust in him? You can bargain with him, Toka. I know it will be strange to ally with someone Siegfried hated so, but he will keep to his word. And I know, I know. Leaders drink the wine and so on. <laughs> you were listening. I have much to consider. Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toka. That is the end of the Siege of Paris. Holy shit. Honestly, that was extremely well wit written and very good. If I had to if I had to give it a rating, I'd say five out of five. Like seriously, holy shit. Oh, homecoming. Return to Ravensthorpe. Wait, it's in Francia? Oh, that's right. Pierre lets me return to England. You must have heard about Charles. We have eyes and ears everywhere. You did the right thing, Ivor. Francia will have a better king. One you might even be inclined to follow. That remains to be seen. For now, loyalists rise to resist the change. We will continue our missions. So, what will it be? Back to England? To England. Off we go, then. Eivor! Are we safe? It will be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? I killed the Mad King, Charles the Fat. Odo, the Count of Paris, means to take the throne. Is that good for us? Time will tell. But Odo is an honorable man, and he has a kingdom to rebuild. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sinrich's daughter. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> She'll do right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tails to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs>
do what is right. All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, and thank you so very much for joining me on this wild adventure into Francia and sacking Paris and the madness of King Charles. But um, otherwise, we will be back tomorrow with Uncharted 4, because we're going to do that. So look out for that. I thank you so much for joining me. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I'll see you all tomorrow.